in this video we'll be designing a dfa to accept 011 as substring so uh, referring to the steps for the first step is to obtain the regular expression and the l value language so first let's write uh, sigma is equal to 0 and 1 because it has to comprise only of zeros and ones so and now let's write the regular expression so uh, dfa should accept 0 1 1 as substring so in the middle there has to be 0 1 1 in the starting and ending there could be anything comprising of zeros and ones so this can be further written as 0 plus 1 star can be written as lambda into 0 1 1 into lambda as lambda has no value we obtain 0 1 1 itself so writing the language set it could be just 0 1 1 in the middle or 0 0 1 1 0 or 1 0 1 1 1 or 0 1 0 1 1 and so on we have to notice that in the middle there is only 0 1 1 so that is what uh, we have to design a dfa all about so we have done our first step second step was to identify the w min so let's write w min here w min can be 0 1 1 identified from language L defined in step 1. So as the W min length or the string length is, is 3, total number of states would be 3 plus 1 that is 4. So we have to design the initial finite automata now. So initial F A, so Q0 could be the start state. Q1, Q2, and Q3 being the final state. So we have 0, 1, 1 here, right? So 0, 1, and 1. Let's look into the third step that is define transitions for each state on each sigma. So we have to find transitions of all the states. So here Q0 on 0 is defined, but transition of Q0 on 1 is unknown. So we have to find that. Along with that, transition of Q1 on 0 is unknown. Transition of Q2 on 0 is unknown. Transition of Q3 on 0. And transition of Q3 on 1 is unknown. So let's solve this one by one. First, transition of Q0 on 1. So Q0 on 1 needs to be found out. So let's put 1 in a box. And followed by that, we have 0, 1, 1. So let's write it here. So here we have to start from Q0. So we know that 0, 1, 1 pattern starts from Q0 to Q3. So let's write Q0 here and Q3 here. So the only possible transition here is Q0 on 1 should give Q0 itself. So we can write as transition of Q0 on 1 gives Q0 itself. Moving on to the Q1 on 0 transition. So before Q1 we have 0. So let's write 0 here. Q1 on 0 we need to be we need to find it out followed by that we have 1 1 so yes Q1 on 1 needs to be found we know that Q0 on 0 gives Q1 so here 0 1 1 the pattern should be from Q1 Q1 on 1 gives Q2 and Q2 on 1 gives Q3 so the possible transition is Q1 on 0 should give Q1 on 0 should give Q1 itself so q1 on 0 should give q1 itself followed by that we have q2 on 0 so before q2 we have 0 1 and here let's put 0 so followed by that we have 1 so is 0 so let's look into the substring part which they have said in the middle it has to be 0 1 1 is it 0 1 1 here no so let's add 1 at the end so now it is of the form 0 1 1 fine so let's start from here q0 on 0 gives q1 Q1 on 1 gives Q2. Q2 on 0 need to be found out. But here we can say that Q1 on 1 gives Q2 and Q2 on 1 gives Q3. So the possible transition is Q2 on 1 should give Q1. Transition of Q2 on 1 gives, Q2 on 0 gives Q1. So here Q3 on 0. So before Q3 we have 0, 1, 1. Followed by that we have 0. So here Q3. So 0, 1, 1 starts from q0 and ends at q3 so ends at q3 right so q3 on 0 should give q3 itself that's when the initial state and final state would be justified so 
transition of q3 on 0 should give q3 itself going on to q3 on 1 so before q3 we have 0 1 1 and we need to find q3 on 1 so q3 let's write it here we know that 0 1 1 pattern starts from q0 to q3 yes so here also we know we should uh, the only possible transition is q3 on 1 should give q3 itself that's when q0 would be the start state and q3 would be the final state thus transition of q3 on 1 gives q3 only now that we have uh, found the transitions of all the states let's move on to the step 4 that is de designing a dfa this is step 3 step 4 is designing a dfa so let's write the initial fa as it is first zero one and one now these transition states could be represented using the red color q not on one gives q1 only q1 on zero gives q1 only q2 on zero should give q1 and q3 on zero gives q3 and q3 on one also gives q3 so here we have designed the dfa now let's define the md values so md is equal to o sigma transition function q naught on a and f so here q comprises of all the states q1 q2 q3 uh, sigma we know it should be zero and ones only transition function uh, it, it, it is defined in above steps and q naught that is start state is q naught itself and f being the final or accepting state is q3 our next step is to draw the transition table so let's draw the transition table transition of dfa of all the states q3 being the final state and q1 being the start state so let's fill the values here q2 on 0 gives q1 q2 on 1 gives q3 q3 on 0 gives q3 and q3 on 1 also returns q3 itself so our next step step 6 is to take two strings to show sequence of moves made by dfa design one string should be to accept and the other one other string should be to reject so let's write 0 1 1 in the middle and let's put 1 here followed by 0 here so if you see q1 on q0 on 1 gives q0 q0 on 0 gives q1 q1 on 1 gives q2 q2 on 1 gives q3 q3 on 0 gives q3 itself so it it acts it, it obeys the md defined above the dfa defined above q0 q0 yes q0 itself and q3 belongs to the final state so this word is accepted let's take one more string w2 is equal to 0 1 0 and 1 so q0 on 0 gives q1 q1 on 1 gives q1 q1 on 0 gives q1 on 1 gives q2 q2 on 0 gives q1 q1 on 1 gives q2 though q0 is the same the start state is same but the final state is not q3 here thus we can say that this word or string is rejected so i hope uh, you have understood how to design a dfa when uh, such condition is given if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you